Scribblers, you may have noticed that there is a new tag going around. The AuthorTube Newbie 2.0 tag. It is a new tag for us to get to know each other a little more. It is a callback to the AuthorTube Newbie tag, but this one is for anyone new or old to the AuthorTube community to participate. It was created by the same person who made the original AuthorTube newbie tag, Jenna Streety. So shout out to her. All right, so let's get these questions going. The first question is, what's your book pitch? My book pitch is, oh, let's see. 11 year old Maya discovers she has magic, but getting sucked into the world, she starts to make bad decisions, including one that could erase her friendship with her BFF forever. Yeah, that that's the most succinct way I can get it down. If you would like to know more about that story, you can watch my writing in process videos. I go more in depth on how I am writing that particular book. I will link to the playlist for it below. Question number two. If you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? Oh goodness. I would pitch myself as a teacher slash aspiring writer pushes against the odds to get her words and imagination of literal black girl magic out into the world. Question number three. What do you usually write? As I said, I write literal black girl magic. I tend towards middle grade and young adult fantasy and I'm starting to dabble a little in science fiction. It's very light science fiction, but I have not fully committed to that project yet. So we will see how that goes. But yeah, mostly middle grade and young adult fantasy smattering of science fiction and contemporary won't stop pecking at the back of my head. Question number four, what is something you'll never write? I will probably never write mystery, like true whodunit mysteries. All of my stories have some sort of gotta figure something out to it, but I don't really read straight up mysteries. So I don't think I would have the skill set to write one properly. I, I honestly believe that you need to read what you want to write and it's just not there for me. I would also probably never write thrillers. Again, something I don't read, don't really have much interest in. So yeah, those are the two genres I will probably never write in. Next. What's your goal for starting an AuthorTube channel? My goal when I started this AuthorTube channel was one, to build an author platform and two, to really gain a sense of community. If you've watched my videos, you will know that I am all about building community and making connections with readers and other writers and that is one of my biggest passions. So that was a huge goal for me. I've watched other YouTubers like Alexa Dunn and read the blogs of people like Susan Denner and I want to be able to do the same thing. They give a lot of advice and demystify the process of what traditional publishing is and I want to be able to do that for the next generation. They both inspire me. I would like to be able to inspire others. So question number, I think we're on six. What made you want to start writing? Oh, that's not a fair question because it's not, this is totally gonna sound cliche, but it's not so much a I want to write as I need to write. Like writing is in my heart. I cannot live without writing in some way. Even as a kid, I did the whole self-insert RPF, real person fan fiction for those not in the know. 
um, me and my friends and the magical adventures we would go on. And then I built up to writing fan fiction in like late elementary to early high school. Then in high school, I did the whole teenage poetry phase. And then in college, I really got into novel writing and prose writing. So, like, it's something I've always done. It's something I've always loved. It's one of my favorite ways of expressing myself. Like, being able to share stories and adventures with other people through my writing is such a beautiful thing to me. I love it couldn't live without it I've done it forever let's see number where are we number seven what's your publishing path self-publish traditional publish hybrid haven't decided yet or just write for fun well that's a two-part answer I do just write for fun because like to me Anything I do with writing, if I'm not having fun with it, my reader can't have fun with it. I, I don't want to bore myself with my writing. Even if it's hard work sometimes, I want to enjoy what I'm writing. So I do do it for fun. But I am on the traditional publishing path. I am planning on querying my current work in progress by this fall. So, yeah, I am planning on traditional publishing. What content do you bring to the author tube table? As I said, I want to be able to demystify the process, and that's part of why I started my author tube so early in my own process. I want you to be able to see from my beginnings almost to wherever I end up. So I want to eventually be able to give advice and help mentor other people. My main kind of content right now is to try to do like fun looks into the publishing and book community. I want to be able to like express my feelings towards books community because even as a literature teacher, Books make up a large part of my life, and I like being able to share that passion with other people. The next question is, what's your biggest writing struggle? I, I have such a hard time focusing. I am constantly that cliche meme of, oh, an author writing. And then it's just somebody staring at a blank page. That's me. I can't focus. I'm like, ooh, shiny. And I just, I, I have a hard time with it. I am decent at like focusing on one story at a time. I have tons of ideas that I do want to do. I have like my next four books planned on what I'm writing. But I am good at keeping up with that one book I am working on right now. But actually getting words down, it's really hard for me to focus. Probably doesn't help that my desk is in front of a window to the street. So there's always something that can distract me. But yeah, focus. Such a hard thing. Let's see. What is your best writing skill? Okay, so back in the day, I used to write romance. I have even self-published a few romance novellas and short stories, most of which have been taken down, so don't bother looking for them. But yeah, I would always say that writing romance scenes was my biggest skill. But now that I'm more writing middle grade, I don't do so much romance with it. That's I focus more on friendship than romance in middle grade. So now I would say my biggest skill 
is voice. I believe I have a very distinctive voice. I've always been complimented on my voice with my writing. So I think that's probably one of my best skills. All right, so question 11. If you've been on YouTube for a while, what's your best author tube tip? I've seen people in the AuthorTube Facebook group say how they are nervous about starting because they don't have the right equipment or they don't know what to talk about. And I say, just do it. Like I, I have a somewhat older camera, a Canon Rebel T5i. So it's not exactly like I'm shooting on my phone but it is an older camera and it works perfectly fine for me. And the way phones are made these days, you could you could get amazing quality off of a phone. There are movies filmed on iPhones these days. So not having the right equipment is a bad reason not to start. Like some people think they need the perfect lighting. Like right now, you. My lighting is not great because it's kind of overcast today and I'm usually using the natural light. So I'm kind of supplementing it with a lamp, but I I don't have a lot of light coming from this side. So I'm kind of off balance, but hey, I'm working with what I got and I am still trying to put content out there. So not having the right equipment is not an excuse I'm willing to accept from people. Also not knowing what you want to do a video on. There are so many tags, including this AuthorTube Newbie 2.0 tag that you can do to put out your first video. Even if you just start off with the first several of your videos being tags, that can be fun. You'll think of content to do as you watch more YouTubers, and you are more in the community, you'll come up with ideas. Don't let that stop you from starting your channel today. So I was told to choose between questions 11 and 12 and I did number 11, so I'm skipping to question 13. Are you looking for any new channels to follow, betas, CPs, or other types of writing buddies? I'm always looking for new YouTubers to follow. I am especially looking for people of color in AuthorTube to follow because I swear we are like unicorns sometimes. I feel like out of all the people I follow, I don't follow a lot of people of color. So I'm really actively trying to expand the number of people of color I follow. But in general, as long as you're doing like interesting content and talking about writing process and things like that, I am willing to follow. So if you have a channel you would like me to check out, go ahead, drop a link or your channel name in the comments below. I'll check you out. Am I looking for CPs or betas? At the moment, not really, because I am in the middle of draft one for a book. So unless you are interested in being an alpha reader, then I'm not particularly looking for anyone. But I probably will be looking for people in another month or two. So if you do want to connect, maybe we can chat until then and then switch. After that, switch up and um, exchange manuscripts. Who knows? And if not, then we could just become friends. Friends are awesome. Friendship is magic. And the last question is, what are you most excited for during this new fresh start on YouTube? I've been kind of doing my own fresh start on YouTube lately. If you subscribe to my channel, you may have noticed the past few weeks, I've been moving to weekly posts, which is, you know, a lot for me <laughs> between teaching and 
doing my own student work and writing. I am so busy and I don't get a lot of time to film. So I am experimenting with the whole bulk filming and then try and bulk edit and schedule posts in advance so that I can do weekly posts. Hopefully I can keep up with this. We are in this together. <laughs> I'm hoping this is a new fresh start for me so that I can get more content up because I really do enjoy doing AuthorTube. I enjoy being a YouTuber. It's fun for me and it's a great way for me to connect with people. So that is the fresh start I am most excited about. So that's it for my answers to the AuthorTube 2.0 tag. And I have a couple of people I would like to tag. There is author Amber S. Craft, Michael T. Christian, Sarah Schwarnweber, The Naked Firefly, and Zach Loves Books. Or, if you're watching this video, consider yourself tagged. If you do make your own author tube, newbie 2.0 video drop a link in the comments so I can go and watch like I love watching videos like this it makes me feel more connected and getting to know the people in the community but that's it for now for me if you enjoyed this video or think I seem like an interesting person or my books seem interesting go ahead and give me a follow if you click the little bell with the subscribe button it will give you notification whenever I upload. I upload on Tuesday mornings. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms and pushes my videos to be seen by more people, which means connecting with more people, which is what I love. It's all about community. But that's it for now. So until next time, keep writing.